Hello. This time I'm going to explain you my latest uh, experiment. Again, I'm working with uh, Alan Bradley MicroLogix PLC. This one is a 1000 model. Has uh, 10 inputs, discrete inputs, and it has 6 relay outputs has a DF1 RS-232 port that I have connected to a laptop and I wrote a little program on RS Logix 500 it's just a little program that sets a timer running for 60 seconds and it will turn on an output relay I'll put zero on and it will turn it off once the timer times out. The timer can be reset if this contact here is made. This contact is made if the value on integer file 7 1 equals 1. Also the value on the timer the accumulated value or the counting value is written into integer file 7 slash 0 here. So this is a little program. It's only six rungs long. Single file program. And there's not much explanation to be made. You can I can go online here. And you can see it working. Pretty much the same thing for most of you guys. I can uh, reset the timer. Just I, can, I will toggle this bit here. The timer starts timing, and the output uh, will stay on for uh, as long as the timer. Is timing. Once it times out, it will be reset. But that is not the purpose of this of this video. What if I wanted to toggle that bit without using Arbus Logix 500, uh, but I have no contacts? Well, then you say, well, you can use an HMI, you can use a panel view, or or the way you can use uh, an HMI built into say advanced HMI like I did in my other videos but I decided that I wanted to have a different approach so there is this library for Arduino which has the DF1 protocol uh, structure so I decided to incorporate that into an Arduino so here it is this is my approach to an Arduino base panel view if you like a HMI that will connect to a MicroLogix so here is a Arduino Nano that has already a sketch downloaded into I have a Max 232 TTL to RS-232 level converter, a push button, and a 16 by 2 line matrix LCD. Okay, so I already explained the uh, RS Logix 500 program, so I'm going to show you the uh, Arduino sketch. So the library is called DF1. You just need to incorporate it into your sketch. And pretty much this is it. You include the library. I included the, the DF1 library. This is where I included it. This is the DF1 library. I also included the liquid crystal library so I can use it. I set up the uh, digital input pin 
to pin number seven, set off, initiated everything, and to set up uh, server team. And that's pretty much it. So what this does, it reads N, uh, N7, zero, and writes to N71, which I already have uh, included in my, VD, uh, in my RS uh, logic program. So I'm going to go offline here on my uh, RS logic 500. Uh, program running. I'm going to disconnect the uh, PLC from the laptop. So I'm going to connect the uh, PLC to the, uh, you can see the, uh, the transmit and receive lines are not really, the, only the uh, transmit line is flashing. There is no uh, response back to the PLC because it's not connected. I'm going to connect it and you shall start seeing also the LCD is showing on the the first line it says value on N7 0 right now it's not being updated but watch and watch and see once I connect this to uh, devices see it's hard it's hard to do it with one hand while holding the uh, the camera on the other one. okay now the value is zero because the timer timed out and remember the timer value is written into n70 so that's why we get zero but remember the uh, n71 compare block that I wrote to equal this here this it will read n71 and write and compare it to one if it's one then we'll make this coil and in turn that will make the timer reset so this is an HMI kind of a uh, primordial HMI you can write to the PLC so what it's doing now it's accessing and I don't know if you guys can see it through the cell phone but the transmit lines and receive line uh, the transmit and receive LEDs on the Arduino are flickering the baud rate is set to 900 sorry 9600 bits per second that is the default setting and the uh, LCD is showing the actual count value. I'm going to try to uh, overimpose this too. So you guys can see uh, once the timer times out that the PLC is going to set its output false. So once it reaches uh, 60 seconds, the output here is going to go off. There. So if you reset, so I'm now pressing the button and it's constantly resetting the counter because that's the way I build the logic on the PLC. If I press on the button, I'll put right here, I'll put one, goes on. But, the, but that's pretty much it. I'm reading to a integer file. And writing and reading from it and writing to another one so there is huge potential for this you can make an HMI for Alan Bradley DF1 uh, PLCs using this simple um, approach an Arduino which is inexpensive uh, an LCD which is also is inexpensive and an, a max of 32 so you can make this as complex as you like I'm just using a little push button but you can make uh, a much more advanced keypad or even use a uh, touch screen uh, LCD combo for your Arduino 
the potential is huge. You can have a an old machine that has a faulty uh, HMI, and you want to have a PC uh, looking into it. You can have you can make your own HMI and control your Allen Bradley DF1 PLCs from it. So there you have it, another successful uh, hacking project, kind of a hybrid project mixing two different types of products, industrial PLC with a hobbyist uh, platform using the widely available and widely supported all good Arduino long life to Arduino and thank you guys for watching